Hello folks, some exciting news. Eleven Labs has finally released their projects feature, which is a workflow built specifically for long form projects. So things like audiobooks. And uh, they've had it in beta for a little while, but it is now available to everyone with a paid plan. Uh, it, might, it might be available on the free tier as well, but there's not much you can do with that, obviously, on the free tier. Uh, and so today we're going to take a look and see what it's capable of. And I'm going to show you a little bit around and you might actually get a brief look at um, my book as well. So stay tuned for that. I'll be getting this book ready over the next couple of weeks. It'll still probably be a little while before this book comes out. But uh, this way you get a, a quick taste of what it looks like. And I also want your opinion on something. We're going to synthesize a voice for myself and then uh, try it with a voice I selected that I like. And I want you to tell me what voice we're going to have this audiobook in. Uh, because, you know, I think nobody likes the sound of their own voice, but maybe it's fine. I don't know. Uh, so I will let you, the audience, choose which one you want to do. So before we get into the projects here, we're going to go over here to Voice Lab. And in Voice Lab, we can add or clone a voice. Now, I, you notice I have a lot of voices here already. These are voices I've kind of selected for specific characters in one of my books, most of them. Um, but we're not going to use that. We're going to um, clone a voice. And you'll come here to Instant Voice Cloning. But there's also this professional voice cloning, and I haven't actually looked at this too much yet. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Okay, so it's actually giving me information on what my audio should sound like. That's interesting. Well, we'll go ahead and give this a try and hit start. So at this point, we need to provide it with samples of my voice. Now, this is going to take me a little while to assemble. I'm just going to take past videos that I've already recorded and stick them into here and see how that goes. All right, so I've uploaded 10 samples from my videos. Uh, this should hopefully be enough. Actually, I know this will be enough. They're asking for 30 minutes here. This, uh, I think one of my videos is 30 minutes long here in this list. But So this should be plenty to create a professional voice clone. Let's see how it does. So it wanted me to read off a section of text so it could verify that my voice was the one I was cloning. That's a clever way of doing it. And then we start fine-tuning. All right, and it looks like it's going to take some time for that to get fully cloned. So in the meantime, let's go back to the voice lab and actually just create a regular instant clone. Um, and we'll just call this one Jason Hamilton Instant. All right, so I've added a couple of the audio clips and I'm just going to say add voice. And now I've got it here under Jason Hamilton Instant. And then we can go ahead and use this one. The professional one is still queued up and getting fine-tuned. I'm not entirely sure what the process is for that, uh, but we'll go ahead and use this Instant. And so let's go back to projects. Uh, I've got one project here. I'll get to that in a second, but we're going to go ahead and create a new project so I can show you how this works. We'll just say create an empty project, and we're going to name it, and we're going to just name this AI Writing Book because that's what uh, we're going to be putting in here. Now, the default voice could be anything. Um, we could give it my own cloned voice recently. We could give it another one that I've been using. Um, one of the ones that I liked was this Alex, expressive narrator. So I'll just use him for now. And then you have an option here to, for quality. It could be standard, high, ultra. This is not the quality of the voice um, like the AI voice. This is the quality of the audio itself. And so um, this is pretty good. I've tested them out and I am not an audiophile. I, you know, can't tell the difference between the really high quality and the really low quality. I genuinely could not figure it. I, I tried it with ultra and standard and I could not tell the difference. So I'm just going to stick with standard right now. Uh, but you can do it higher quality. Understand that it comes with an additional cost. Uh, so you're charged by character count um, with these projects. 
and you have a limited amount of characters depending on what your subscription is. And so if you use high here, it's an extra 20% character cost. If you use the ultra, it's an extra 50% character cost. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to go with standard. And then you're also given the option to select your model. The most advanced one that they have right now is 11 multilingual version 2. Um, even though it says multilingual, if you're doing English, then you can just use that. But this is also the one to process other languages as well. And then you hit create. And then you'll see it come here under your projects here. And then over here on the right, you'll hit select. And you'll have a chapter one. You can add more chapters here. Just select empty. Give it a name. Chapter two. Um, add the chapter. You'll see it here. Um, I'm going to go here to chapter one. And now we're going to paste in the text of, oh, that's kind of weird, um, of my first chapter. I'll also go ahead and change the chapter name to How I St Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the AI Overlords, which is the name of this chapter. And we'll go ahead and start working on this. So. One of the things you can do is you can go in line by line and see how you like it. So if we just say, okay, let's listen to this line. My hands hovered over the keyboard, suspended, ready, anxious. And then you can, you know, see what the next line would be. But completely unable to write. And it's only generating these one paragraph at a time. And that way you're not wasting a lot of your credits that you have, which is a nice touch. Um, and if you do want to generate the entire thing, you come up here to convert and then you pick the chapter and just say convert here and it'll do the entire chapter. Um, and when you do that, it will not reconvert everything that you've already converted. So these first two lines here that I've just now converted, um, won't be reconverted when when I do the whole chapter unless I want it to. So that's another way that it saves you on the number of credits that you're using, which is nice. Um, so let's go ahead and generate this paragraph as well. This was back in 2019. I had been married for less than a year, and in that year I had recently published my 10th novel. For perspective, I published my first novel in 2018, just one year earlier, all right, so you can see already really good quality audio here. Uh, I'm curious to know how you like this narrator. I I like the narrator personally myself, but let's go ahead and try this again. I'm going to change the paragraph to be the Jason Hamilton instant that we made so you can hear what this sounds like. I actually have not tested this yet, so uh, this is brand new for me as well. This was back in 2019. I had been married for less than a year. And in that year, I had recently published my 10th novel. For perspective, I published my first novel in 2018, just one year earlier. Okay, that actually does sound a little bit like me. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking the pauses are a little bit too obvious, but I do tend to pause a lot in the way I, I speak. And so I could understand where it's getting that from. Just doesn't necessarily work for an audiobook in my opinion but i will let you decide which voice do you like more do you like the alex version or do you like the um you know my version so let's play back these first few lines again and i'm going to set this right here so it will automatically continue playing and now i couldn't write to save my life i did not know what was going on why i was feeling this way although in hindsight it seems rather obvious but before when I wrote it felt like escapism, like I. So um, there you go. That's what it sounds like. I don't think that my version of this voice is very expressive, but once I get access to the higher quality professional version, maybe we'll see it a little differently in that particular case. Another thing you can do is play with the stability and the clarity here. And uh, I haven't done this yet, so maybe we should try this and see how it goes. So stability, if you just read what it says here, increasing variability, um, which would mean going this way, um, 
can make speech more expressive with output varying between regenerations. It can also lead to instabilities. So I actually do usually like to have this down around like 35 ish. Then for clarity, if we have the clarity up high, it says high enhancements boost overall voice clarity and target speaker similarity. Very high values can cause artifacts, so adjusting the setting to find the optimal value is encouraged. This one, it's already pretty high, so I'm going to leave it there. And then style exaggeration. It says high values are recommended if the style of speech should be exaggerated compared to, up to the uploaded audio. Higher values can lead to more instability in the generated speech. Setting this to zero will greatly increase generation speed and is the default setting. So I don't want it to be super exaggerated, but let's move this to like 20% here and uh, try this again. Let's regenerate this paragraph right here in my voice. This was back in 2019. I had been married for less than a year, and in that year, I had recently published my 10th novel. Um, for perspective, I, I published my first novel in 2018, <laughs> just one year earlier. Oh, it added an um. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> and there's an uh. Oh, man, this is making me very self-conscious. Let's try a different one. And now I couldn't write to save my life. I did not know what was going on, why I was feeling this way, although in hindsight, it seems rather obvious. Um, but before when I wrote it felt like escapism. Like Okay, and then obviously the quality of the audio is not as good as the 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 one that I was using before, this Alex expressive narrator. Um uh, so yeah, uh not my favorite personally. If you guys really want me to, I'll do it. We'll see what the professional one looks like. Alright, the other thing I wanted to show you before we wrap up here is uh this other chapter that I have here. Now, say you wanted to do something a little special. Say you wanted to have a fully narrated book. Uh, this project's feature makes this easier than it has ever been. So to demonstrate, I took in a book uh, uh, from, or a chapter from one of my books, and we have here um, a little bit of dialogue. Okay, so we have the jailer picked up her dinner plate, which sat scraped clean of food next to the door. And I have a default voice set for all of the text, uh, for all of the, the narration. Uh, but then we have different voices here uh, for the dialogue. And what you can do is for each paragraph, you can come over here to paragraph settings, select the voice that you want, and then it will uh, save that thing in that voice. The only thing you're going to have to do here is to make sure you're separating the narration from the dialogue. Um, like, for instance, this paragraph would normally, grammatically speaking, say, don't give her anything he said in a rusty voice. Well, in this case, you're going to want to just hit enter between that to make sure that the narration and the dialogue are two separate voices. And then you come over here, make sure that one's the right voice. Come over here, make sure this one's the right voice. There it is. And then so on and so forth. And then you get this really interesting thing where you have several people conversing. Um, so let's actually see a little bit what this sounds like. The jailer picked up her dinner plate, which sat, scraped clean of food, next to the door. Don't give her anything, he said in a rusty voice. She's been denied all amenities save for this plate and those rags she's wearing. Why is that? said the second man. His dark tone blended perfectly with the dungeon's ambience. She's resourceful, tried to pick the locks with the eating utensils once. Oh, we let her use her hands now. Then I won't give her anything. And be sure to check your pockets when you leave, added the jailer. So she doesn't swipe anything from Yair. <laughs> Indeed. And be careful when she talks. When she talks? Oh, she's been known to charm some of the other guards into thinking she's innocent even had a few petitions for her release. They were reassigned, obviously. The tall man blinked and stared at Una with new eyes, but nodded as the jailer retreated, closing the door behind him so it was just Una and the newcomer. She remained tense. Hello. Said the tall man in a firm but polite voice. Una frowned, saying nothing, waiting. He looked up and down the length of the cell, his torso still bowed to avoid the low ceiling. I understand you've been in here for a while. 
She remained silent, only narrowing her eyes at the man. What was he getting at? I'm a knight, he said. Oh, more or less, I've been trying to get you out. Get me out? Una rasped, her voice a bit dry. She hadn't spoken in some time. Yes, I need your help. So get me out, she said, remaining where she was and hugging her knees, continuing to look as vulnerable as she could. Hmm. It's unfortunately not as easy as I hoped. All right, so that gives you an idea of what that could be like. Um, this will take a little bit of time, but certainly not nearly the amount of time and effort that it would take to put an actual fully narrated book together. And it's getting really good. Um, obviously not perfect. Um, like when it tried to say, so she doesn't swipe anything from you. Um, it it didn't get the, the sort of slang talk there pretty good. Um, and so not perfect, but um, pretty amazing compared to where it used to be and where AI narration used to be. Uh, and so this, I think, is a good idea for like an alternate audio option. If you have people, say you have an audio book that is already narrated by someone, you could have this as a second option. Uh, make sure your readers, of course, know that this is um, AI generated. Otherwise, they might think it's a little weird. This is one case where I do recommend telling people that it's AI generated because, uh, you know, people are going to think it's a little weird if, when they, you encounter some of these oddities. Uh, but if they can just look past those, um, this is actually a really good way to enjoy these books, I think. So those are my thoughts on Eleven Labs projects. Definitely go check it out. It's pretty cool. I'm going to be developing my audiobook in here uh, after I figure out what you guys want, what you liked, and uh, once I get a good look at the professional version of my voice and to see if that's actually worth using. And I'll see you in the next video.